Okay, so we're here at his base. Now it's just simply a matter of finding where to put all of our stuff, or he won't find it. There's probably, if I remember correctly, a bunch of sheep here that we can shear too. Yeah. I don't know if they'll be of much use though. Fortunately, I guess this building burnt down when he was on today. So while he might have made another house, he was only, he, or he didn't make anymore, which is pretty good. Hmm. Not really sure where to hide it. Remember when I said I was expecting him not to come back online? And I was th saying, oh, I've got a good eight hours. Well, he came back online for probably about four hours straight. Unfortunately, well, I didn't know this at the time. He actually never came back to his base, so I could have pulled off the prank then. But either way, I have I th most of the things I will need. I'm going to kind of plot out where everything's going to go, and then we can carry on. So I'll, I'll plot that out probably, and then I'll go through the building process a little bit with you. It, there is quite a bit to do still, as there's so many buildings, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Well, I kind of got ahead of myself, but I haven't built any actual rides yet, so I'll kind of go over... What I have, this is like a dunk tank, you'll take a boat of here and then you shoot these. You can actually just press them. And the person on there will fall in. I don't actually know what a dunk tank looks like, I've never seen one. I probably should have researched that first, but works well enough for me. This is like a tent. Gonna have one of those cheap mini games in there that you can never win. Um, this is like a snake roller coaster. You'll have to see that eventually. I'll probably build it on camera, at least a little bit. But it'll be awesome. And then the other thing I was building right over there that you saw momentarily is going to be kind of like a water thing. I don't know what you would call that. You sit in a boat and then you go around this track that is awesome and yeah. She has been on this whole time but she has not said a word yet. I feel like she may be AFK. Which may or may not be good, because I kind of want to sleep, but that doesn't matter. So I'm going to actually finish outlining this here, and I'll probably get back to you when I'm done with that. There's no promises though, as you can, because as you can see, I've done all of this without really ever recording anything, but I mean, that's okay. You'll eventually see something, that's all I can tell you. So, yeah, when you do, I'll see you then. Okay, I did my best to only do the frame, as I said. And that is really all that I did. I eventually want to put maybe some, like, flags or something on here. Maybe, I don't know. When I originally made it, it was just this and the water. But I want to make it more decorative. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I'm going to actually place the water... I believe it goes like this. I put the signs here, and then water will flow up those, and then I fill the rest of it with water, and then we'll see how it works from there. Okay, well, the ride seems to be in working order now. I haven't tested it, but I'd assume it's in working order. I guess we can test it out now. Um. It's not the most exciting ride, but at the same time, it's okay. It needs more decoration, but it works. I don't know the other one. Oh, there we go. Okay. So basically, you come around here. Oh, sorry about that. Um, I probably just cut that out. Anyway. You boat around this way. Keep going. Oh, break a boat or two. There'll be spares on chests on top of here, but get back and all's well. So, <laughs> that's the first working ride. Well, besides the dunk tank, if you call that a ride. But, okay, let's continue. I think I kind of want to do the snake ride now. So, I guess we can get started on that. I don't know how much I'm going to do on camera. 
I do have this all pre-planned. Oh, pre-planned out. I've never taken on one of these guys before. Well, that was weird. So I have it all pre-planned out. I think I might just set up various things and we'll, I'll kind of keep you updated. Or I might just do it all. We'll have to see. And if you want to see me do it, I'm sorry, but that'll make the episode too long. Even this is making the episode too long. Oh no. So this is the path that the track is going to follow. It's pretty self-explanatory. It's going to start here. Follow up here, around here, over there, down there, up here. It's going to go outside. Go kind of around this whole loop area. Oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. Back down here. This is going to be a snake right now. I only have his tongue and its mouth, kind of. We'll go down here, back up here, and finish. So I'm actually going to finish putting in the snake and then putting in the track. Look at him! He is beautiful! Holy goodness. Oh, I forgot the fangs. Just a second. Where do they go? One, two... I think I do it like that. There we go. That looks pretty good. And... One, two... Three. Oh, I'm excited for this ride. It looks sweet already. Oh, should probably eat something. Uh, the next part of this ride is filling the base with water. So, I'm going to have to do that off camera because there's a lot of water. But, I will see you when I get back. Goodbye! It's now full of water. I think I'm actually going to go get the tracks and place those because... It'll just be awesome. And I still don't remember what I did with this here. So I'll have to look back and check. But either way. Okay, I see what I did. I actually did another arc like these ones here. Except I don't have the dark green wool. So I do have to go back anyway. But it'll be like that again inside. Okay, to get the wool. Okay, our first test ride ever. Do, 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 do. Oh wow, I'm going really fast. I don't know if I want to go that fast. Um, mm -hmm. I feel like there's almost something wrong with this roller coaster. And that I started going too fast at the beginning. It's really jerky too. But then you get off, and you walk out, and it sends off the cart. But I really feel like I went too fast there. Maybe I'll have to see what's up with that. Oh, that's. I do need. Okay. Well, I will make those modifications and I'll be back. That sucks. Well, that's okay. Okay, so it turns out I do actually need these three powered rails after all. Hooray, she's coming to see. Um, I fixed a couple things up. Like the exiting system not working. Um... It's working out pretty well, I think. I think it's a pretty sweet ride. Oh, okay, so you get out. And does it push it all the way through? Perfect, okay. Another ride finished. And of course, every amusement park needs a Ferris wheel. Hooray. So these, I guess, could represent, I don't even know. I'll I'll tell you, they were originally supposed to be horses and these were like carriages, but we'll just let you pretend whatever you want of what they are. So yeah, that's another ride down. I don't know how many more I'm going to do. It's getting awfully late, but I feel like I can get in another, another one or two maybe. I also need to finish that tent. I need to put up this sign. I need to make an entrance. Maybe put another tent somewhere. I don't know where though. We'll see how it goes. I do have one more ride that I could do that is functional. And then I could always replicate another tent here. The other functional ride would probably go here. And I need a little bit more work on the boat ride. But we're pretty close to actually being done, which is awesome. So, yeah, I guess I'll probably work on the other ride. And I'll show you it when I'm done. 
Okay, so I made another ride. It's pretty simple, but pretty effective. It works well. Basically, you press the button, you go around in a circle, and you end up back where you started. You can have races if you want, and I'm actually not sure who would win, because the person on the outside has more boost. But, yeah, it would probably be the person on the outside, even though they have further to go. I don't know. Maybe we'll have to try that one day. So yeah, that's all it really is. Um, I added these chests with some boats in them. I still want to put something on this to make it cooler, but I don't know what. And then I think I'll make another tent here if it'll fit. I have to do something with that tent still. Put something in there. I need to make the entrance, and then that's basically it. There might be one more thing I'm doing if I feel awake enough, but it is getting very, very late now. So, yeah. Okay, I put up another tent. I still don't know what to put in the two of these, but we'll figure it out eventually. I think it looks fine. Maybe we can smooth this out a little bit so it's not so weird. Maybe go like that. I don't know. Anything else left to build? Uh, I don't know if I should. The thing is, this one building that I could build. Firstly, it's pretty big. It's about 20 by 20. So I might be able to fit it in here. I'm not sure. Um, I don't know. Maybe back here. Yeah, I'd, I'd be able to put it back here. The other problem is it uses a lot of one color wool. And I don't know if I have that much because I'd need probably about five stacks at the very bare minimum. I know 36VE has some. When I originally made it, it was the this color here, the cyan. But I don't know. I don't have a lot of that. I have, actually, I have a lot of light blue. And he has a lot of light blue, if I remember correctly. And I have purple. I think we could do it that way. Yes, we'll do it. Okay. You guys are lucky. You get one extra ride. So yeah, there we go. I'll, I'll put back what I don't use. I'll probably give him... Actually, he's going to get this all back anyway, so I don't really see the problem with taking it. Besides the fact that it's stealing. <laughs> but do I care? I think actually light blue and orange would be a better contrast. Because, I mean, the light blue and the purple thing would look good together. But if I had a light blue and orange, it would look weird. And that's the idea, right? Well, actually, you don't know what the idea is. Yeah, we'll, we'll go, actually. If I can find enough orange, I think we'll go orange. Because that'll be really weird looking. Which is just perfect. I don't know how much orange we have, though, because of that one tent. But. Actually, I don't think I need a lot of oranges just for the windows. Yeah, we'll, we'll see how that goes. Oh, this is the wrong chest. Oh yeah, we have tons of orange. Perfect. So I'll actually go do that now. I'll probably finish it because it is so late and I don't want to keep recording. And the video is going to be like 45 minutes if I don't just build them first. So I'll see you when it's done. Okay, so I went ahead and did the last amusement ride, I guess. Not really a ride, but... As you can see, it's just like an odd house called Walnut's Wacky Wonder House. I don't know. I don't know why. Got the dining room here, upside down, of course. Stairs, which are really awkward to climb. Random closet there. Bedroom up here. Living room, kitchen, and the bathrooms with the cool little mirror effect going on here. So that's really all it is. It's kind of cool. Kind of a neat idea. I need to put something in here. I'm still not sure what though. But we'll figure it out. Okay, so it's the next morning. Um, 36 VEs on, and I just told him to come to his base. So we're going to tape his reaction. Oh, and also I forgot to finish it. But 
close enough that it won't make a difference. Here's just a few things I still want to do. Which I feel I can probably do before he gets here. Or at least I hope I can. Oh, how do you make these? Is it just... There we go. Uh, <laughs> it's like lemon. Pull out the whole Canadian, Canadian thing there. 